Hey YouTube, it's Miranda and Jordan, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 20. So if you've been keeping up with Vlogmas, then you know that I've missed a few days. It happens. Alright, so this video is going to be all about touring Salem Herb Farm, a wedding venue in Salem, Connecticut. This was the third venue we saw. So when we first got there, we parked kind of like behind the venue, and the guy brought us in through the... What? We parked behind the menu. I said menu? I think you said menu. I think you said menu. So before we go any further, this menu has multiple sections. It has the indoor spot, it has a spot that will be available to have an outdoor reception, and then it has a ceremony spot, it has a fire pit spot, there's like a cocktail hour spot, so there's lots of different like areas that we got to... It was definitely like the most intricate venue, I think. Yeah, it had the most options. Yeah, a lot, a lot of options. Okay, so when we first got there, we parked behind the venue and the guy brought us in through the back. Um, so we started in the kitchen of the place, which is where like a caterer would be able to set up and do their thing. Pretty standard, nothing exciting to see there, but then we went into the bridal room, which was pretty cute if you're into like, what kind of vibe? Like, I don't know, I want to say like antique feeling. Like antique farmhouse. Antique farmhouse. I don't know, just like with the, the style of furniture and the color choices, it felt, it was super cute. It's very small, so your whole party would not be getting ready in there. It's kind of just for like you to have your final touches or like, mm -hmm. I don't know. But it was very cute. It does have a nice big mirror and the bathrooms are right around the corner from there. Their bathrooms are super cute. I was impressed with them. I thought the bathrooms were the nice. The bathrooms are real nice. They looked brand new. I think they were in the process of updating them or having just updated them. I think this year was supposed to be their first year. Mm -hmm. And then with COVID, they had some weddings, but this will be their first like year this in upcoming, full swing. Yeah, yeah, coming up. So after we saw the bathrooms, we came around the corner into the actual like barn area that is a reception option. It's very cute. It's a lot smaller than I expected, but also fits more tables than I thought. When we were there, they said it was set up for like 125 or something like that, which I was really surprised at because it looked a lot smaller. So I've found out that my perception of how many people can fit in a space is way off. Yeah, same. Because every time I look at a space and I think to myself, I wonder how many people can fit in this space. And then I ask, I find that I'm, I'm off by like 40 or 50. It has cute lights strung from the ceiling. I did like that because I want lights wherever we go. Overall, this room was cute, but the decor is just not something I'm looking for. They have a lot of farmy decor that can't be moved. The pictures on the wall stay there, which I think is kind of weird. Like, why do you have your pictures hung on the wall? But that's just me. But it definitely was really cute. So we moved outside and they have this cocktail hour area with the bar tables. Yeah. Like higher tables. I liked that area. I really think the outside of this place looks like a Cracker Barrel and I don't know if that's something I was looking for. It's super cute, but I don't think that's like the vibe for my wedding. One thing we were saying is that there's a lot of gravel, so like walking around in high heels wouldn't be ideal. Exactly. They have this really pretty fireplace spot with the Adirondack chairs. I really liked that. I thought yeah. that was really nice. And this is nice especially for COVID because people can spread out a lot. If it's something we chose that would definitely be a plus. They had this little hut outside which I thought was so cute to have an outside bar. Isn't that super cute? Yeah, I really like that. So then we walked over to the ceremony spot. I mean, I guess you could get, I guess you could have your ceremony wherever you wanted at the place but this was what they dedicated to the ceremony. And it's really pretty. They have like the pergola for when you're walking down. And then this actual ceremony spot has, what are these called? Bluestone pavers. Yeah, bluestone. So that would be better for heels. Um, and it has the water behind it. So it is definitely a cute spot. And then this wide open spot was available too. It's just another like open area. So you have a lot of options. And then they're building this area that I'm showing you right now. It's like a outdoor, greenhouse but they don't want to call it that because it doesn't sound like appealing that's going to be beautiful like if we were to choose this place i would have wanted it in this new area yeah and that's this is just a look at the outside of the venue where we would enter from so overall this place was super cute i really like the outdoor spot it's a definite definitely on for consideration yeah i like that place a lot um I just don't like the inside that much. Also, if you were choo to choose the outside, I feel like it was kind of a long walk to go through the 
barn area to get to the bathrooms. Yeah. I don't know. Just some minor things that I wasn't crazy about. I also wasn't too sold on the price. It was like $4,000 for four hours and that's just to rent that space. That price doesn't include any like catering or DJ or anything. So to me that was a little pricey for what you get compared to what we've seen. Not for nothing. It's right on a relatively busy state highway. So you do have the cars a little by. bit of a little bit of road noise and which I'm sure is fine once you get to the you know once if you're either inside having the reception or you've got music playing you won't hear you it. wouldn't hear it but, but the ceremony I think would be a time when you're probably would hear the road noise and you'd be yeah, yeah, I wouldn't be loving that. Also, they had a few rules that, I know there's gonna be rules at lots of places, but I really think I'm kind of set on that sparkler send off. And he was like, not having that. So I gotta find somewhere that gives me that sparkler send off, I think. <laughs> they did also have a rule that was, uh, the music volume has to be quiet enough that it can't be heard off, off the, the property. property. Yeah, which, which I don't know how loud that is. I feel like I'm, I don't care because I don't want the music to be like, insanely loud but is yeah. he gonna be like coming out because they live also they like live right on the property so is he gonna be coming out of his house like turn it down <laughs> yeah i don't know and there were a couple i mean it's a huge property but they were very were nice people houses. they were oh, really really nice yeah. i just don't know if that's the one yeah Which maybe nice. not quite our vibe but yeah but super super beautiful yeah so i think that about covers it for our tour at salem herb farm so yeah thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you tomorrow for vlogmas day 21 bye, bye. behold i bring you tidings of great joy which will be to all people for unto you is born this day in the city of david a savior which is christ the lord